My name is Scott Evans, and I'm a research analyst at ARC, and I'm the primary author of ARC's 2012 base year study on additive manufacturing systems, also popularly known as 3D printing. This webcast will provide a brief overview of this study's content and its overall development process. Additive manufacturing is defined by ASTM International as the process of joining materials to make objects from 3D model data, usually layer upon layer, as opposed to subtractive manufacturing methodologies, such as traditional machining. This is a pretty broad definition, and it's broad for a reason, and that's because additive manufacturing isn't really just one technology, but a compendium of technologies all following this criteria of building successive small layers on top of preceding small layers. Some describe additive manufacturing as a whole new philosophy of at manufacturing. We will only be covering additive manufacturing systems intended for professional and production purposes, which mainly includes prototyping, modeling, casting patterns, and a limited gamut of production parts. ARC has forecasted the market based off of seven process types defined by ASTM International, which are material extrusion, material jetting, binder jetting, sheet lamination, fat photopolymerization, powder bed fusion, and directed energy deposition. ARC has also created a process type for merging additive technologies, which could influence the market in the future, which ARC calls emerging processes. Another key division is that of hardware and services. ARC defines hardware as additive manufacturing systems or 3D printers themselves, in addition to the parameters and licenses, which are sometimes required to commercialize an additive technology. Services are comprised of the consumable build materials for additive manufacturing, in addition to maintenance, training, leasing, and renting. Some hardware suppliers also have service bureau or custom part divisions, which ARC considers as part of services. ARC's study process estimates added manufacturing revenues supplier by supplier and breaks down the revenues into geographical regions of North America, Latin America, Asia, and EMEA, and into hardware and services. The study then aggregates the estimates of each supplier to arrive at a total market size of the worldwide additive manufacturing market. We review past growth history and related market trends and events and speak with each supplier about their growth prospects to develop a five-year market forecast, both of the overall market and of a number of other segmentations. We estimate that the worldwide added manufacturing systems market is currently over $1 billion, with 2012 the most successful year yet. There are a number of factors contributing to growth in additive manufacturing and other factors we believe will inhibit growth, which are outlined above. And these factors are considered when we develop the forecast for the market. This information provides context for the numbers in our forecast. Finally, the study includes strategies for success within the market. These strategies build on market dynamics and discuss the different opportunities to maintain and accelerate growth. And we have tailored a set of strategies both for suppliers and for end users. Studies are designed to appeal to a wide variety of audiences. Suppliers in the market or entering the market are interested for business planning purposes. It gives an opportunity for suppliers and other interested parties to evaluate the competitive landscape of the market and to plan for future opportunities for growth in the future. End users rely on our research to make purchase decisions and to better understand market dynamics to make more informed strategic purchase decisions. Financial planners rely on ARC to access new markets and the strengths and weaknesses of major suppliers for portfolio planning. 
If you'd like more info, please go to www.arcweb.com, and here you can find information on the additive manufacturing study, as well as other ARC market studies. Please note that our studies are available in many forms to meet your particular needs. If your needs are at an individual level, you can purchase a copy in hard copy form. If a broader group needs access to the study, a digital distribution PDF is available. If your needs are for data analysis and you need to work with the data, then MIRA, ARC's market intelligence and rapid analysis offering is the perfect fit. Rest assured, if you have a relationship with ARC, then you and your team have access to the best possible data for informed strategic decisions. Once again, I'm Scott Evans, the primary author of ARC's 2012 base year added manufacturing study. I can be reached at sevans at arcweb.com. Thank you for your time.